mad. I'm mad! Okay, so Brian. Yeah, Donnie. So, that, like I was saying on the previous episode, when you pause the game, there's, there's a, there's a... A thing that says puzzle. A thing that says puzzle. And there are those secrets that you didn't get. If you can see, next to the thing that is the mask icon... Yes. There is a little dot. Right? Yeah. And, wow, there's even one on the prelude? I didn't know that. For each and every one of those that has a dot, there is a small puzzle piece hiding. After that, you assemble the puzzle, and then you have... You, you go to the final stage, right? Yes. And uh, you punch it into the computer. That's that's the password. Oh. Uh -huh. As you can see, none of the biker stages have puzzle pieces. Right. So they're all jacket stages only. Of course. And hold on. Okay, there is also one on the final chapter. Hmm. So 15, 16 of them. Right. So let's do this. Let's do from the beginning. Go go. No intros. Uh, and I guess I'll use Rasmus to make them easier to spot. Okay. But, uh, okay. So you're gonna be, you prepared to be mad, Brian? Yeah. There it is. What? You see that floating pixel Are right there? Are you serious? There? Yeah. This shit. And it's a letter. As you can see, it is you, right? No, it's not. Duh, I'm dumb. over here. Dumb. We now have a letter U. Yes. And we gotta figure out where that goes. Oh, great. Um. Wow. I might. Oh, there we go. <laughs> For some reason, you gotta press R1 to move it around. That's dumb. Oh, wait. I know where it is. I don't know where it is. Where do you think it might be? Right here. Oh. Boop. And here is the thing at Get it. the end. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, I forget where it is. Pretty sure it's second floor. What? 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 Um, I guess that was it. It was, it was here. I missed it. Uh, there, it's in the explosion room. Figures. Because you would never look in the explosion room. Especially, now it's all fucking dark and uh, hazy there it and is. shit. There it is. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and spoil this for you, Brian. Yeah. It's right there. Jesus. Alright, no. Oh my god, that works. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's on this one right there. Oh, there it is, Jim. Yeah. Where was it? Here right it is. Okay, looking around. There it, is. there it is. Yep. Whee. All 
Okay, so there is one on this stage. I think I saw it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. <sighs> and got, got it. it. And it was here. It was here the whole time. Oh my god. Oh. And it's right there. Mm-hmm. All right. <sighs> Brian. Here's a puzzle. Solve it. Do oh it. boy. Make it happen. Make it good. Mm. Can I have a hint? Um. Category is. Do you want a Jeopardy category or a Wheel of Fortune category? Jeopardy. Uh. Song titles for 100? Uh. Wh whoa. What? I just guessed on those. Yeah, the, those, if they glow, they're in the right place. Yeah, you that, got it. Damn it. As you can see, the song was, I was made to hit in America. <laughs> Okie dokie, now what? This is also a pretty good hint in, as to, like, who's behind the shit. As you would figure. Alright, here we go. Uh, I don't think it matters, the intro. Alright, let's do this. Let's do... Let's see the thing. So that person runs off, you go to the thing. For some reason, he just guesses that's the fucking password. Huh? Eh, whatever. I see, so that's your game, huh? And now he knows everything. Go into the foxhole. I'm gonna ask different questions this time. So this is your base of operations, huh? How clever of you. Uh... I don't remember how I did this guy's voice. I You're the you... asshole from phone home last night. Yeah, that. What do you want? I looked through your computer upstairs. And I thought we should have a little talk about your... line of work. You don't know shit! Our system is password protected. No one knows the password but the two of us. Yeah, he fucking guesses it. He just fucking guesses it. <laughs> How the hell did you figure that out? Let's just say I used a little magic. So let me get this straight. You're nationalist some scumbags. You threaten members into doing your dirty work. And this whole thing is a two-man operation? You could say that. Though we like to call ourselves patriots. We volunteered to conduct this little experiment by ourselves. But I can, I can assure you we're just the tip of the iceberg. We're setting up operations all over the country. How did you come up with this crazy scheme? Crazy? What you need to realize is that... All you gotta do to get people to do what you want them to is make... To make them think there will be consequences if they don't. It's a principle of our whole oper Our whole society is built upon. So it's okay to threaten people into killing each other? 
Wake up, man. Don't you see this is a country at war? 50 blessings is a foundation for patriots. Our members must fill out a form in which they state that they're willing to die for the sake of our nation. You might remember this. You're a member too, right? And you expect to topple the R Russian american coalition using, using methods like this? Oh, don't worry about that. We'll have this country back on its feet soon enough. Give us five years and you'll see what we're capable of. This is just the first step. You'll understand in time. We've got some very powerful people on our side. You know what? I think I've heard enough now. I have no interest in politics. You people have wasted enough of my time already. You can totally just choose not to kill them, by the way. Yeah, well, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> you can choose not to kill people. I could have chosen not to kill people this whole time. This is a game by, about killing people. By I'm not gonna playing kill people. the game? Yeah. <laughs> and you just ride off into the sunset. So... A lot of that shit makes more sense, especially in the second game. And it's kind of, again, devastating to see, like, when you play the fucking second game, and we will play the second <laughs> game. Maybe not right away, but we'll get to it. And I'm gonna bring that up, because it is fucked up to think, like, Everything that happens in the second game is all because Jacket wins when he fights the biker. Oh, wow. All of this could have been prevented if this psychotic asshole had won. That is kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. And a lot of fucked up shit happens because of him. Because of it. Because these people are allowed to live and to continue their scheme. And as well as a whole lot of other fucked up shit happening. It's, uh... Heavy! It's yeah. It's super heavy. Oh, man. Some shit. Holy crap. That's the one for seeing the final thing. And I don't remember if that's the one that turns your shit dark or if it's the one that reverses your controls. We already but... had darkness, so it must be the control reversing. Anyway. Well, fuck that thing. That was Hotline Miami. That was Hotline Miami. That was the secret ending. Bye-bye, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm tired. Me too. Fuck policemen. Fuck the police. <laughs>